kind of right we're here we're near near to the end of this mini album that we've made and this video will be just about decorating and um, so I've done some decorating throughout I've not gone mad I've kept it quite quite basic um, and we're just going to do a few bits and bobs um, on the on the video so that you can see what I've done um, to give you some ideas. You might not have the exact same things as me. If you do, that's awesome. We're using um, Forever Green and Rest Sweet from Stamping Up. If you don't, use what you've got. Um, use something else similar. So the, for the front cover here, I've just got the these two dies and one of them has been stamped with Always and Forever. And I've got the in inspiration for the front from a card that I made. And I do have a tutorial on this card. And if you look through my videos, it stands up like so. So I wanted to replicate this because at the end of the day, I loved it. It turned out nice. So why think of a different design? I'm just going to copy that one. <laughs> I'm going to copy it. So um, this is what we'll do first of all is the front cover. So I've been and I've die cut, I've got heaps of die cut stamped elements, I've made some flowers and I've got a tub of extra die cuts, um, some just from cardstock and some are stamped. Um, so I spent maybe half an hour chilling, just uh, running these through my die cut machine so that I've got lots and lots and lots of options. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start and glue these on. Alright, so I'm going to do this one first. I'm just literally going to glue it straight down. Okay. And we're just going to layer up. So one that. So these are on dimensionals so I can slide this down the back. Alright, I um, might just a little dab of glue there just to anchor that down and a little dab on there just to anchor that one down. Okay, um, I'm going to do a blog post where I will put all of the measurements for everything throughout um, on, you know, on, on one blog post and it will be linked beneath this video. Okay. Um, so let's carry on. I'm just going to layer up. Let me have a look. What do I want now? Now I want this one. I'm going to layer that in there like so. I think do I want it trimming? Do I want to trim it a bit? I think I want to trim it a little bit. Let me just trim that off. And then I'm just going to just build these layers up. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think of some of the questions that people have been asking as they've been watching. One lady said, "Wouldn't it want it be too bulky?" Um, it's not. It's quite a chunky, like so. Okay, but you add your photos in there. I use it for journaling. It'll still be fine. Um, I've used black cardstock. Somebody thought it was blue. That's just the light. What else have people asked me? Um, how many sheets of 12 by 12 did you use? Well, I'll leave all of that on my blog because I didn't actually use black card stock sheets for the actual pages. I used ready-made cards. Um, but I'll work it out for you and I'll leave all the measurements, okay? Right, so now I want this one. Um, we're going to stick that there. It just wants trimming. And... Da -da -da. I'm just really enjoying making any kind of book at the moment, be it journals, um, junk journals, using digi kits from such as um, the Artemis one. I'm doing a uh, Alice in Wonderland one at the moment and I'm really enjoying it. So this one here I'm going to put on dimensionals and I just I just feel like you, I just feel a great sense of satisfaction when I make a book. I feel like I've actually made something. Um, which is weird because I still get that same kind of feeling when I make a card but for some reason it's just a bit more satisfying when I make a book. I feel like I've proper made something, <laughs> as they say in Yorkshire. Alright, so that's got a dimensional and glue on there. Let me just serve that. What else do I want? Now I want a little leaf one. So let's just get that on a dimensional. Okay, and just stick that in there like so, and what else do I want? A flower, so I've got various flowers here, 
and I've used a, the little tiny, is it called a posy punch? It's just a little punch, I just punch out the white cardstock. If you go back and look at the video where I made this, I do show you how I make those flowers. It's really easy. Alright, and then I've just used whatever gems I've got laying about in my stash. Some are blue, some are green. I'm not bothered if they don't match. Right, so now I'm just going to do the other side now. Let's have a look what I did. So I want one of these. I'm going to stick that on a dimensional. Okay, what else do I want? One of these and one of these. So let's get cracking and get these on. I'll just trim that down a bit. Okay, and I'm just going to slide that in there like so. Okay. And give that a press. And then I've got one of these. And we're just getting clusters. Build the layers up. It just adds interest, all right? Just put that just underneath there. Slide it in a bit further so it's not hanging off the page too much. And then we just want one of these little leaves. All right, and then I'll go in and I'll show you what I've done on the inside and do some bits and bobs with you. So I'm just going to add two little flowers and all of this has just all been made from paper. Just paper. I've made these flowers. We've not had to buy anything extra. Uh, we've not just opened a packet of crafty stuff from a shop and stuck them on. We've made every single component ourselves. Okay, with just paper stamps, ink and some dyes. Alright. I'll stick that on there. Okay. Just hold that while it dries and that's our front cover done. Alright. So that's that. I think it's lovely. And we're working against, as always, in my craft room, we're battling against the uh, the uh, the light. Right, so what I've done inside here, what I'm gonna do inside. Let's just turn on to the first page. So on the first page here, we've got our tags. So I went away after the last video and I layered up the tags with some cardstock behind. So I cut exactly the same, but just in a coordinating cardstock. And then I went and I stamped lots of sayings and some hello, and then I added ribbon. Okay, so that's what I did off camera. And then what I'm going to just do is I'm going to just... Add a little bit of glue onto another one of these because um, I, did, I, I did stamp and die cut an awful lot of them as you'll see in a minute when I show you the rest of the booklet. Okay, and then on here, a little bit of glue. I'm, gonna run, I'm running out of glue. I'm expecting a stamping up delivery this week with some more liquid glue in, so hopefully, I'll just about manage. Okay, so that's that tag. That's what they finish up looking like. All right, I just slip it in there. So then where we've got this, it says love and laughter forever after. Uh, which set's that come from? It's actually come from the forever fern, as that one. Okay, and so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to mimic, mimic the tag. I'm going to add that leaf there. Okay, and on the pages where they are just plain paper, I'm not decorating those. The reason being, then it'll be easier to just, you know, anchor down the photographs that you want to put on, or you don't have to put photographs in. You can add, you could write on it. You could stick memorabilia in from your holidays. Um, Lots of things you could do when you're creating these. I just make them for the fun of it. I don't even put anything in them. I just love making them. I'll probably end up gifting it. <laughs> right, so that's that one. So we've we've got our front cover um, there. I might put some glitter on. I might do, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I feel, okay? And then we've decorated all of the tags throughout the book the same. All right, and we've got this little cluster here. So I'll do you a quick flick through. And then all we're going to do is make our closure. Alright, so on these I've left them as they are. I've not over embellished because we don't want it to be too thick. 
it's quite heavy and quite weighty because there's a lot of card stock in this in this little book um, so that's been left plain and then as you can see here we've got this one that says keep dreaming I could do with just putting something on there if I can I'm quite uh, have I got another flower don't know if I've got another flower so did I have another flower there we go we've just got one more I'll just embellish that one because I've done the tags there and uh, I just want to do this little and this says keep dreaming and I've I just had a look through all of my stamp sets and picked out sentiments that I liked this is actually from Silhouette Scenes totally nothing to do with this but I just liked the saying it says keep dreaming alright I'm going to stick that flower there Let's move it to one side so we can see the writing and that just nicely embellishes that. Alright, and then we've got the little uh, locking mechanism there with our little card and I've done the same there. Okay, we've got the Keep Dreaming and then on each one I've put a little flower. Left that plain and then here again we've got Go Confidently in the Direction of Your Dreams which is lovely, that's also from Silhouette Scenes and we've got a flower and a leaf so I'm just repeating the same things over and over so because um, when you do that, when you do it repetitively first of all it's all going to match yeah, it all looks nice it all matches all the way through and also you don't have to think of something new on every single page you don't need to because that can be overwhelming thinking oh gosh what am I going to do here just think of something and repeat it over and over. It'll make your book look really nice because everything will coordinate and match. Okay, that flips up. I've left them plain. And then just here we've got, again, love and laughter forever after. We've got the same flowers again. So, you know, we're just repeating and then I added some um, ribbon in the top of those as well. Okay, and that's it. That's our book done. So all we've got to do now is do a little closure. Now, um, you could do a, any number of things. I'm just going to do something that is just so simple, it's just ridiculous. And I'm just going to get some seam binding. Alright, this is my own seam binding. It's lovely. I love it. Uh, get it from America. And it costs me more money in... Um, shipping than it does the actual seam binding. <laughs> in honest, I, let me have a look. I was going to double it over and now I've not cut enough. Let's just have just the one. Alright, and all you've, you could use ribbon, you could use anything. Alright, I'm not uh, doing anything too fancy. I'm just going to slide that under, under there. In fact, I'll just go over the top. You could just go over the top, it doesn't matter. But what you can do is you can obviously you can lay this down under your under your DSP if you want. I'm not, I'm not too worried. I'll just I'll just close it like that. And whoever ends up with this won't care. Um won't care what um is used to fasten it. It just makes it look pretty, okay? And then obviously you open it and there you go. Alright, so that is our finished book. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, set of tutorials. There are three. So uh, part one shows you how to put the pages together. P uh, part two shows you the matting and layering of the paper and how to make the photo mats and tags. And then this, obviously, we're just doing a little bit of decorating. So there we go. That's our complete little little mini album. It's really rather lovely. Uh, helped with that lovely paper that all coordinates. It's beautiful. I love it. Okay. And we've just got a little flip up. Nothing too fancy. If you are a beginner crafter, you can make that with ease. All you've got to do is watch the other two videos and you're good to go. All right. Go and have some fun. Make yourself a lovely book. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.